deck the halls with Call of Duty. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It is Christmas Day, December 25th, 2013. And today we are going to be playing some Sniper Lobby Duty 4, or I mean Call of Duty 4 on Bog. I'm going to be using the M16 with a red dot sight. And I'm going to go on a 24 kill streak. I thought I'd just bring you guys some old ass gameplay just because Ghost is boring, man. Let me tell you. I. I already made a video about this, but I don't know. It's like, maybe it's just me, but I can't get into Ghosts. Some Sometimes I have fun in Ghosts, but it's not a game I can play constantly. It's not a game that I played for, like, two years straight. Like, I played Mono for 2 from 2009 to 2012 when Black Ops 2 came out because that was my fallback game. It felt like whenever I would play uh, a different game besides Mono for 2, like a newer Call of Duty, it just wasn't the same, and I always ended up going to the back to the previous Call of Duties. I'm sure I wasn't the only one that ha this happened to. Like, with, uh, with, uh, Mono for 3, I'm like, this isn't that good, so I went back to Black Ops 1. And then, even before Black Ops 1 came out, I went back to Mono for 2. Or, I'm sorry, when, uh, Mono for 3 came out, after I got tired of Black Ops 1, I went back to Mono for 2. Mono for 2 has been my, uh, uh, like, fallback game. So, yeah, I can't really get into Ghosts, and I don't know why, but that's not the topic of today's video. I'm gonna make this short, because I know a lot of you guys... Are spending time with family today so I'm just gonna talk about my best and worst Christmases ever now for the record I am grateful for everything that I've ever gotten for Christmas and I know this it's it's really it's a really good it's a good story so um my worst Christmas ever would have to be probably five years ago Christmas of 2008 and um, it's not so much what I got as much as it was like what happened but uh, basically what I got I got Yahtzee I got Scrabble I think Monopoly, and I got an Xbox 360 hard drive, which was awesome because I had the arcade, and it only came with, like, a memory card. I got a BB gun and, like, some candy and stuff. I don't remember which candies. All I remember are Junior Mins and Mike and Ike's, and I'm mentioning that specifically because of something else that I'm going to get into later. But, um, it seemed like a pretty decent day, you know, I had, we had, like, we just spent it with family of watching, like, the Christmas, the 24 hours of Christmas story and stuff that's always on TBS, and, um... I went to bed that night and I woke up at like two in the morning and I was so like sick. I got food poisoning and I ended up spending the entire next day bedridden and like not able to move. I probably lost five pounds. I couldn't even drink water. I couldn't swallow food. I couldn't eat anything. I was throwing up. It was horrible. And to make matters worse, the hard drive that I bought because it was used gave my Xbox the red ring of death, which just sucks all together. But, um... It, it, yeah, it was horrible. I mean, it was my first Xbox that got red ringed, and it was the day after Christmas, and plus I was, like, so sick. I couldn't move, and I was just upset, and I didn't have really anything else to play with because all I got were board games and such. But, um, so I had to go a whole year without a 360. But I did have, however, a PlayStation 2, so I just kept playing that. And, um, I don't have that much time, so I gotta get this, hurry. Or I gotta get this going. The best Christmas of my life was the next year, 2009. It's because that Christmas changed everything about my YouTube career. For that Christmas, I got an Xbox 360 Elite, which was great because then I had a hard drive and it was awesome. And I got Modern Warfare 2, which was my first experience playing that game, and I loved it so much. I, it was probably my best Christmas, and it just it, it sculpted my future so much from that one Christmas, and it was insane. And, um, I'm really glad that I got my stuff, and I'm really glad that I got everything that I, uh, everything I wanted that Christmas, especially after the last Christmas, because that last Christmas just sucked. But, um, yeah, guys, that's all we have time for, really, today. Merry Christmas, and, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, like I have. And, actually, I hope you guys have a wonderful tomorrow, considering I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. But, anyways, guys... I'm going to peace out, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, such and such and such.